We did not celebrate the Krishna birthday yesterday because it was Ekadashi. So we are celebrating it today. Today I will do Kirtan of Krishna's birthday. So, in the Bhagavad, uh, on the fourth day of Srim Bhagavatam week, there is the Krishna Janamashmi on the fifth day. Krishna's Radha. Balalila Adi and the Govardhan Lila, the Govardhan Lila, the Ras Lila, and they proceed as in the routine. Panjam on the Dini Amara Krishna Anamana Pasams Kandi Lila on the fifth day we is the the tenth canto and on the seventh day Krishna Ekadas Ebong Dadas Kandi Kata Bhana recite the stories from the eleventh and twelfth canto. Because of Ekadashi we just uh, shifted the schedule of uh, celebrating Krishna Janamashtami today instead of yesterday. Yesterday we got to the seventh canto and we studied about the Katha of Prahlad Maharaj. And in the eighth canto we studied about Kaj Kajendra Mokshan Leela. I will try to express that Katha in front of you and then Pali Maharaj. <coughs> And Vamande Bhagwan, we try to do Kirtan and then Ambrish Maharaj Katha, recite the Ambrish Maharaj Katha. Yesterday I explained it in short. 
কথা আমরা কীর্তন করেছিলাম এরপর আমরা দশম স্কন্ডের মধ্যে So today we will enter till 10th canto. Shri La Sukhdev Goswami Paad in front of Parishit Maharaj. He recited the Katha of so many incarnations of Krishna. So many uh, Kathas are explained. Especially ফরেস্টস properly and he did not offer Rishi. so agastya ji was angry and he cursed him hati jemon that you go and take birth as an elephant an elephant does not respect anybody they are always absorbed in themselves and they walk exactly like this you have this nature of an elephant in scriptures it is said sadhu mahatma when a sadhu pure devotee is pa asram mein le when they come to your ashram or house then you have to respect them amun ki shastre madhe bola rahe hai it is said in scriptures yadi koi vigraha puja archana bhi kare if someone is doing worship of deities then and if the sadhu sang comes at the same time then you have to stop worshiping the deities and you have to offer pranams to the sadhus first but king indradum he did not respect agastrishi properly so for this regard Agastrishi he cursed him Now to me I go and you will get birth as an elephant Shri Indradum no Maharaj So Indradum king Tini ek gajendra jani he took form uh, to birth as an elephant in the next life Ek din kaha ফেন So the feet, it slipped, the feet of the elephant had slipped and it got stuck in the river. So in that same river, there was a crocodile. Then he came to his feet. For so much time, the elephant crocodile they were fighting kintu but hati elephant sarvabhagya rupe ta shakti prakash korte pare he is powerful but in water he cannot express his power properly jale moddhe and crocodile lives in water so naturally crocodile is powerful in water so elephant's leg was bleeding now নথিং <laughs> <laughs> 
then the, the female elephant and and the children they left the place and abandoned it. the elephant was and he got uh, he was about to die he he got so because of the past impression the elephant he started to worry the death is coming i will, I will die in this water my, my the uh, trunk of elephant can go up the water. If someone follows any limb of bhakti, even in very short amount, then it's not good, it's not good to waste. For this regard, in Gita it is said, In this material, if someone just follows a little limb of bhakti, any process, then they are definitely delivered from this material world. For this regard, the glories of bhakti are so much in scripture. In scriptures it is said, Bhakti Revanayati, Bhakti is, a, is attracting us towards the God. Bhakti Revanayati, from Bhakti you can take Darshan of God. With Karma Gyan Yoga, you cannot attain God. No Sakdas Tapas Tagu Jatha Bhakti Mamo Ul Jita Sam Bhagavan God Himself Udhavke He gave He told you that Udhav No Sakdi Mam Jogu People are showing so many, doing so many type of meditation to attain God, to attain peace. But reality with your austerities, you cannot attain God. Like by astrology and other things, you cannot attain God. And not, even not studying Vedas, scriptures, you cannot attain God. God there is only one solution, Bhakti. If someone just follow a little amount of bhakti, yesterday I told, Prahlad Maharaj said, nine limbs of bhakti, so there are nine paths in bhakti, like listening, Shavanakya bhakti. And this is the first listening to Harikata. Second is Kirtanam. Like we do Kirtan of God's Leelas. And Vishnu Smaran. We also remember the past times. Path Sevanam, Arjanam, Mandanam, Tatsu, Sarkatanam, Atman. Iti Kumsarvita Vishnu, Bhakti Sjeet Nagalakshan. Sravane Parikhit, Parikhit Maharaj. Kewal. Parikshu Maharaj, he just listened and he attained God. Kirtane Vyasaki. Bhagavan Kirtan Kurichen. Only for then God's Kirtan, Sukhdev Goswami Pad and Smarani Prahlad Maharaj. And Prahlad Maharaj remembered God. Yesterday we discussed that Prahlad Maharaj always he was absorbed in remembering. 
His father Hiranyakashipu. He tried so many efforts to kill Prahlad, but all his efforts were wasted. There is a Katha of Lakshmi Devi. Archanam Prithu Maharaj. Bandhane Akroor. Akroor, what did he, how did he attain God by glorifying him? And Dasya Hanuman, Sakya Arjun. Atma Nivedan, example is Bali Maharaj. One devotee followed one part of bhakti, one more part of bhakti, and then so Ambarish Maharaj, he followed all nine parts of bhakti at the same time. In Chaitanya Charita, he explained, some devotees, they follow one path of bhakti, then they attain God. And some devotees, they follow, they follow all the paths of bhakti. In their hearts, they love manifest. Maharaj, if someone just follow a little part of bhakti, then and worship God, the fruits never go to waste. You will get those fruits definitely. Because bhakti is, if you follow the little part of bhakti, then it is eternal. But the scriptures say, bhakti is a transcendental thing. It's not materialistic. It does not belong to this world. All the things that are, all the things that are exist in this material world, they are non-eternal. They end one day. But transcendental things are transcendental. They are eternal. But this regard, bhakti is transcendental. But if you do an aparath, you commit an offense, then bhakti is destroyed. Jeeva Goswami Pad has given an example. It, if you commit an offense, then the bhakti is destroyed. And there is something that has covered the fire on the top, but if the air flows again, the fire increases again. Material things can be destroyed, but transcendental does not destroy it, set on it. And then there is a path. When the fire is covered, it is not uh, diminished, but it is only covered. In scriptures, it is said, like even if you follow bhakti little part, if, even if you don't follow it in sequence, even still bhakti is not destroyed, it's eternal. This is the glories of bhakti. Maharaj, 
महाराज इंद्र दुम्न इन पास लाइफ ही परफॉर्म भक्ति राइट सो फॉर दिस रिकॉर्ड ही रिमेम्बर्ड गॉड एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ दिल्ली फैन वन ही रिमेम्बर्ड गॉड In in heart, you know, he think, he thought, the elephant started to think that death is coming for sure now. But what should I do? I'll just lift the lotus up from my trunk and I will offer it to God. I will offer that flower. In scriptures, it is said. The jiva, in the, if they offer something to God or remember about God at the time of death, then God definitely accepts it and He protects you also. Yesterday we heard the st story of Ajamil, right? The child name of Ajamil was what? Narayan. So when he chanted the name of Radha Narayan to call his child, the Yamduts were thrown out. So Ajami, he thought, I just chanted, the, I just called my child, and God protected me. Four Vishnu servants they came. You remember? Four servants of Vishnu they came. And how many Yamduts were there? Three. Like three. No, no. Four Vishnu servants and three servants of Yamraj of hell. So whatever sins we commit, we committed by our body, mind, and uh, sentences. How do we do it? Sent by body, by mind, and by by speech. We commit sins. For this regard. Three Yamdut came. And for four Vishnu, one is compared to commenter say. Ajami chanted the name. It's the name contains so four letters. Na, Ra, Ya, Na. So four letters. So for this regard, four Vishnu Dut came. Remember, four Vishnu Dut. And three Yamdut. So people who have written scriptures, they express this. So let's move forward. And so King Indra Dum, in his past life, he remembered his past life, and he remembered all the service that has done. So he had a desire to offer a lotus to the feet of God by his front. It is said, when elephant, he grabbed the lotus in his trunk and he, in his mind, he offered it to God, to the lotus feet of God. So Vaikuntha, he said, Vaikuntha, he said to his Garur, Garur, quickly come, let's, we have to go. And I want to take that lotus. In Gita he is saying, if, devo if devotee, with a purity, if he offers something, then I took it, I take it, accept it in person. So leaf, flowers, fruits, water, whatever you offer with love and purity, God accepts it in person. He takes it in person. Why? Because God, He is controlled by Bhakti. For this regard, it is said. Narayan said, Garur. 
If I don't take this flower, then, then people will accuse me of being a bad person. Elephant is offering me lotus and I did not take it. So for this regard, let's quickly go and grab the lotus from elephant. Garur said, Oh Prabhu, my back is very, very hard. And how will you sit on it? God said no. He is giving his lotus at the time of his death and I have to take it. So I will go. God quickly he sat on the back of the garud and then he accepted the offered lotus by the elephant. What did God do? With his chakra, he he cut, he killed the crocodile. First, who was delivered? First, who got the benefit? Crocodile. Crocodile got delivered first. In this crocodile in past life, he was, so he, he cracked joke with the purity of the Lord. So saints were taking bath in the water and, and one singer, Gandharva, he came and he started to make jokes about them. The sadhus cursed them. Go, you become a crocodile. So sadhus curse, due to sadhus curse, uh, even the curse of sadhu delivers you from the material of God. This is the news of sadhu. So God Sri Hari will protect you. So, he took, so when they were fighting the crocodile and elephant, what did he do? First he first he delivered the crocodile from the material of God. And before the elephant he delivered him, why? Why did he help the crocodile first? Commentators say that that elephant was a king Indradu. He was a bhakti devotee and he followed bhakti. But and if someone follows the path of bhakti, who follows who God helps who? Those who take shelter of the feet of the devotee. For this regard, it is said, Lord Shiva is saying, Devi Parvati, listen. All types of worship, the top top type of worship is the worshipping Vishnu. So for this, Devi Parvati, she asked again, Why are you quiet? Why don't you say anything? He said, Devi, Parvati, listen. There is another Aradhana apart from Vishnu, worshipping Vishnu. There is another worshipping. Whose worship? The devote, worshipping the devotees of God. The servants of God serving the devotees is very auspicious. Who is the topmost devotee of God? Srimati Radhika. Srimati Radhika is the servant of Krishna. She is serving Krishna. Krishna is saying, if Radharani, 
So Krishna is saying, if you serve Radharani, then I'm happy. I am happy if someone serves my devotee Veda, Puran, they all say this. For this regard, we should serve the devotees also. So all the devotees of the God, if we make a list, the topmost devotee who is Radharani. Sanatan Goswami Pad. He expressed about the five types of devotees. Gyani Bhakta, Pralad Maharaj. Shuddha Bhakta, Ambrish Maharaj. Premi Bhakta, Hanuman. Premi Bhakta, Pandav. Premi Bhakta, Udhav. Udhav. The name of Udhav. And in the Braj, the devotees, the people of Braj, she is like the topmost devotee, Srimati Radhika. Her love is incomparable to anyone. So we should serve Radharani. If we serve Radharani, the God gets happy automatically. And what does Radharani do? She serves Krishna. Manasiksha Raghunanda is saying, who is our worshipable deities? Krishna or Srimati Radhika? Srimati Radhika, Madhisha. Madhisha Swamini Radhika. So why do we give respect to Krishna? Because Radharani serves Krishna, that's why we respect Krishna. This is the Gaudiya culture. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, this is Tattva. So the, the Siddhantas, they depend on two things, scripture, Tattva and Rasvicha. So the perspective of Tattva is perspective of Tattva. So like a river is flowing, there are two things flowing at the same time, like, like river is flowing in two directions. So exactly like this, two, there are two opinions of scriptures, one is Tattva, opinion of Tattva, and one is opinion of Raswa, Rasa. So Tattva Vichar is that Krishna is God. So Mahaprabhu is saying that Aradya Bhagavan God Srimad Bhagavatam, the eternal scripture, is proving this, that. What does it prove? Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ram, nursing a Kalki, they are incarnations of Krishna. Krishna is known as the Avtari, like the person who created incarnations. So in Brahma Samhita, Brahma is glorifying. All the incarnations of God, these incarnations, they are non-different from God, no different. This is the Tattva. 
So in Tattva Siddhanta, there is no difference between Ram and Krishna. But this is a Bhagavad Tattva Paramatma Tattva. There is no difference between Narayan and Krishna. There is no difference between Ram and Krishna. Surja, Surja, Mandala, Tad, Rosmi, Pratichadi, Rupina, Chaturtha, Avatishthati. Ekla Mati Tattva Siddhanta Gari. Tattva Siddhanta. Tattva Vichare. It is said that Krishna Hulen. According to Tattva Vichare, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Badun Tattva Vidas Tattva Nijat Ganamadyam. Brahmeti Paramakriti Bhagavaniti Sabhutati. He is Sam Bhagavan. He is God. So this is Tattva Vichar. Bhagavatam is proving, Amal Puran, Srimad Bhagavat is proving this. That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is giving this opinion. Mahaprabhu gave this opinion that this is the Supreme. Aradya Bhagavan. Vrindavan Dham and Vrindavan Chandra Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Who is serving the Supreme Personality of Godhead? What? What? Braj Gopis are serving. What mood does Braj Gopi have? With their love they are serving him. In Srimad Bhagavatam it is explained. The transcendental love, how can I say about it? It's not the story of material world, material love. This is the thing of a transcendental world. So this is Tattva Siddhanta. And Rasa Siddhanta, Srimati Radharani's love. So Radharani is uh, supremeness is established. Krishna says that Radhika is my Prem Guru and I am her disciple. Chaitanya Charitramrita. Radhika Rani is my Prem Guru. So Guru controls disciple like a puppet. Like there is a puppet, a puppet show, right? So Guru controls disciple like this. So it's the tower, thread, thread and then you Have you seen puppet dance? Someone knows how to do puppet dance. So the person is controlling, you can't see the person in the show, but you just see the show, but there's actually someone controlling behind it. Exactly like this in Shloka he's saying, Krishna is saying, Radharani is my Prem Guru, Charimati Radhika is my Prem Guru, is my Guru of Love. Whatever I want to learn, I will learn, I want to learn from Srimati Radhika. Why? Because in scriptures it is said, in front of pure disciple, Guru, he makes everything, all the tattvas appear in the heart of pure disciple, not in the heart of an impure disciple. The disciple who is soft, pure, in the front of such disciple Guru, he makes all the tattvas appear in the heart of such disciple. With good character, the disciple needs to be have good character. So, Sadguru, he makes it appear, all the tattvas in his heart. So, Krishna is saying, 
So Tattva Vichar says that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and he is known as the Guru of the world. This is Tattva Siddhanta, Rasa Siddhanta, there is difference. So we were listening about the liberation of this elephant. Sukhdev Goswami Pada expressed this Leela very beautifully and for this regard I am saying if you take shelter of devotee of God then God will help you first. So this crocodile he was touching whose feet? He was touching elephant's feet. So God with Sudarshan Chakra he he slaughtered the crocodile and he made him delivered from this material world. And then he helped the elephant. So if someone listens to this Leela, then they don't have to come back to this material world. It is said in scriptures that if someone listens to this story, then they don't have to enter mother's womb again. For this, uh, like this, Sukhdev Goswami Path said the Gajendra Moksha Leela and then he also said the Leela of churning of ocean. Now I will tell you the Katha of Bali Maharaj. There are so many beautiful Leelas here. Story of Vamandev and Bali. Look. If, if a father is devotee, then it does not show that the son will be devotee. But if son, if son is devotee and father is devotee, it is not also the same. I have seen in scriptures it is said, Hiranyakashipu was what was he? He was a demon. Was he was a demon? Was he a devotee or non devotee? He was a non devotee. He was a demon. But the son of Hiranyakashipu, Prahlad, he was a devotee. And the son of Prahlad, Virocha, a demon. And Virochan's son, Bali Maharaj, devotee. So in essence, in short, I will tell you this Katha. Bali Maharaj was very influential, influential and he took birth in the demon family but he offered himself into the lotus feet of God. So this, he, Sukhdev Goswami Pad expressed this Katha to Parikshita Maharaj. So Bali Maharaj, he won over hell, he won over heaven, he won over earth, everywhere he was, uh, he won battles. The demigods, he le they left the heaven and they were wandering here and there. Bali Maharaj, he did a fire sacrifice. And after fire sacrifice, it's a rule that you have to do, do donation. <laughs> so when Bali Maharaj was allowed to give donations at that time, God Himself, Vishnu, in the form of Vamandev, He came. Let's listen to Katha forward. And Prishni and Sutapa. They worship Prishni and Sutapa, they worship Sri Hari for many lives. They worship Sri Hari for many years. Then Sri Hari got happy and he said, Ask for a benediction. Prishni and Sutapa said, 
if we have a if you are happy with our austerities, then we want a beautiful child like you. What do we want? A beautiful son like you. We already said, it is not possible to have a exactly same child like me, but yet, I am happy with your austerities. So, Prishni and Suttapa, I will take birth, I will become your ch child and come to this world three times. And every life I will make you remember this uh, event. So in first life, God, Sri Hari, He took birth from a Prishni womb. Prishni Supa, a child. So the name was Prishni Garba. In second life, Prishni and Sutpa, Kashyap and Aditi. So Kashyap and Aditi's son was God Himself, Swain Bhagavan Vamandi. Very beautiful story in here. Bali Maharaj was doing fire sacrifice. So, after doing fire sacrifice, we have to give donation. So, at that time, Vamandev, he came in front of Bali Maharaj on the fire sacrifice place and who is Bali Maharaj Guru? Shukracharya. Guru. The Guru of Bali Maharaj, who is the Guru of Demons, Shakracharya, who is the Guru of Devta, Brahaspati. Shakracharya knew that this is the person who will betray Chaliya, like, like to betray Vishnu, he took form of Vaman Dev and he has come here. Vaman, was, what does it mean? Vaman means like very little child. In scriptures it is said, Bhagavan Dev Bhagavan when, when he went to the, with his umbrella, he went to, when he went to the meeting, what did he say? He went to Bali Maharaj and Vaman Dev said, Give, give some donation. What donation do you want? He asked. I am a son of Brahman. Brahmans, they are non greedy. There is no greed in Brahman. So whatever they get, they are happy. This is the quality of Brahman. Whatever they get, they get happy in that. For this regard, there is a quality of Brahman. There are twelve so special qualities of Brahman. Like always being truth and worshipping, worshipping. These are different qualities of uh, Brahman. He knows all about Tantra, Mantra. There are so many qualities of Brahma. Like giving donation, taking donation. These are the responsibilities of Brahman. Bhagavan <coughs> Bhagavan said that I am son of Brahman. I just want a land equal to my size of my three steps. So the land that covers with my feet size, I, I just want that. So, so Brahmans, they always remember So Bali Maharaj, he started to laugh. He said, you came to king, and what are you asking for donation? Kumra means, 
Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I guess it's a potato and pumpkin. So, Parmahans Maharaj, he arranged. People expect they will get paneer, but our Sanjay Prabhu, he he, he did so much seva in Parikrama. Bhakti Vidhan Tirtha Maharaj. When he was there, he did so much service in Parikrama, Navdi Parikrama. And he served Navdi Parikrama all and managed so nicely. Tirtha Maharaj managed all the Parikramas very nicely. So for this regard, Mahaprabhu, he gave him mercy. The he may also serve like him. Serve doing services are uh, religion. We know. But we like we will not serve in the We will go and serve in Braj. This Bhagavad Sapta is going on. This is, the, he is taking full responsibility. Sanjay Prabhu is taking full responsibility of managing this event. God is giving his power. So when someone do work of God, then God gives power automatically. And that's how you do service. There are many servants in Navdi. Till now they are serving. The mud in Navdi Dham, on the top there is the shed. Who constructed the shed? Sanjay Prabhu. He did. He had so much in Navdi, not only this. In Braj, he had managed so many Bhagavad Sapta, not only one. How many Bhagavad Sapta? He serves Gurudev very nicely. We see these yeah. temples, whatever we are hey, seeing, this temple. Who takes care of this temple? With the mercy of his Guru, he manifested this beautiful temple. He is taking care of this beautiful temple. I request Sanjay, Sanjay Prabhu. To come here and say two some things. Say something. Tell us the glories of your Guru and tell us whatever comes to your heart. Tell us two things. With your mercy, come. We get inspired by this.
many cows also and the most expensive cow cows here donated it's giri guy it's like the most expensive cow durvasa durvasa he has donated so many cows there and in our yeah. many temples humke apne barsana at barsan de in barsana barsana ke barsana de uni yeah there is one in he has done so many yeah. donations mahan vyakti jali bhagwan hey ejana sabari nice person, person. Bhagwan, for scripture the scripture did say prerna kare so whatever Aar comes in your heart karya kara isi karya ke nikam God uh, gives inspiration to do seva in your heart. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, and we pray in the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna that you keep serving like this. Seva is the best thing that you can take with you. This money, wealth, property, everyone, you, everything you will leave here and go. But if you, if you put this money in Bhagavad Seva, then our life will be successful. So, I pray that God may give everyone mercy and He inspires us in the heart that we, we absorb in the service of God. The serving in Navdeep Dham is very special. In scriptures it is said, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, He is told that the serving in Navdeep is better. Like if someone serves Navdeep Dham, take shelter of Navdeep Dham, that person can attain Nubraj Dham. Aradhito Navavanam Vrindavanasti. A person does not serve Navdeep Dham, whatever you may do anything, but you will never attain Vrindavan Dham. You will never attain. Sachinandan Gaur Hari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who serves Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they they attain Krishna who is the blood of the peace. And those who, who do not serve the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyhow, they can never attain Krishna. In scriptures it is said, people are, who should be worshipped? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gaur Sundar. Someone asked me, 
महाप्रभु आरती आरती ऑफ राधा कृष्ण इन स्क्रिप्चर्स दिस इज द प्रूफ शेल्टर ऑफ महाप्रभु एंड देन वी सर्व राधा एंड सर्व द प्लेस ऑफ गौर गौर धाम गौर धाम गौर लाइक सर्विंग द धाम एंड सर्विंग गौर नाम यदि गौर सुंदर गौर धाम सेवा ना हो इफ यू डोंट सर्व गौर नावन सेवा करें एंड वी डू सर्विस इन वृंदावन देन इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क आउट फॉर अस दिस इज द रूल्स ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती प्रभु बात बोले हैं घोड़ा डिंगे घोड़ा डिंगे घास खाओ है घास दवा Then anyhow, you will not be able to enter Prajdham, and you will not be able to serve Radha and Govinda. So for this reason, we say Gaur Dham and serving Gaur Gaur Sundar. Our dear Sanjay Prabhu, Sanjay Prabhu, Ashan Sanjay Agarwal, Sanjay Prabhu. Gaur Sundar is Shiva Kuchh. Is Sir Gaur Sundar? Is Sir Gaur Dham? अब भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर बोले ठाकुर बहुत सुंदर सेवा करें दो टेक स्वीट एंड सर राधन गोविंद सो आफ्टर डेथ व्हाट हैपेंस योर सोल डिवाइड्स इनटू टू पार्ट्स एंड वन पार्ट ऑफ द सोल गोज सर्विंग गौर सुन If we do service of Gaur Sundar, then love for Radha Rani manifests in our heart automatically. If you want the service of Radha Rani, big big Brahma Devta, and craving for it. But if someone surrendered themselves to the lotus feet of Gaur Sundar. If we have sukritis of many lives, when we are selected and matured, then we have desire to serve God Sundar. Nobody wants to serve God Sundar. No. They don't even have desire to serve God Sundar. How many people are in Gauriya Math? They do many worship practice, many things, but very less, very few. They take shelter of Gaur Sundar and they serve Radha and Govinda. So if you serve Gaur Sundar, if you have desire to serve Gaur Sundar, then you are very lucky. In Shloka, it is explained. अनेक जन्म जीवी सुकृति। If you have सुकृति of many lives, 
राधा प्रेम विल मैनिफेस्ट इन योर हार्ट ऑटोमेटिकली राधा इन कृष्णा वृंदावन so everybody har gor sundar hai should serve gor sundar then gor dhaam nitai gor priman ye janam de sanjay agrawal prabhu sanjay agrawal prabhu here he is seva karte hain he does very nice service seva and the service is very nice i cannot express my words radha gobind ji chaitanya mahaprabhu radha gobind ji chaitanya mahaprabhu guru vargo and all my guru i i hope that they give him mercy and that is ha sari that he keeps serving gor sundar like this only ami jena bollam i am saying this bali maharaj the bali maharaj i was saying bamun dev ke dekhe haste bollo raja so to bamun he said you are coming to king what do you want you want like very less the like pumpkin you want a pumpkin bali maharaj haste haste बलि महाराज लाफ अरे हमें राजा हमार काजे 10 20 किलो सोना में चेना यू आस फॉर लाइक 20 किलो 50 किलो ऑफ गोल्ड बट यू आस फॉर अ पंकी किंतु ब्राह्मण ने भगवान की बोल ले बट इफ ब्राह्मण ने भगवान से नो नो हम तो ब्राह्मण आई एम ब्राह्मण हे केवल त्रिपाद आई जस्ट वांट द अब ब्राह्मण ने जे पाए मैं बेलू ब्राह्मण देवे चरण दे छिले छोटो So his feet are very small, like little children. Hey, Kintu. But. Did the Guru Shukra Acharya Guruji ni? Guru Shukra Acharya he realized. It is Sang Vishnu. That he is Vishnu. Hey, Amar sister, sab kijo. He wants to steal everything from my disciple. Hey, Tai bolne. Then he said. Bolii. Bolii. Ye sadhon baala banana. This is not a normal child. Hey. This is God Vishnu Himself. He is here to come uh, yeah, to take Maharaj. everything from you. Kishu Bali Maharaj. Don't give him. Bali Maharaj, what did he say? Oh, I am the Lord. Oh, I am so lucky. Anand Bali Vishnu Brahman Bali. The, the, the King of yeah. the many many universe has come to me to ask for donation. Hey, Bali Maharaj. So Bali Maharaj. He made a vow. Sankalpa kari jagan tini, Sankalpa jagan korte jatchen, koi kamandu theke jol kor. A jol ar korche. So he put some water. Shukra chaj jo ki korche. What did Shukra chaj do? Jo bolle. He koi kamandu le kamandu le. He entered the water pot. Tese kahan hai? 
and he made a hole in the water pot so the water was out so vamande bhagwan is also not there vamande bhagwan he said bari maharaj is it bari maharaj ghas athwa patra there must be a piece of grass or leaf or a petal flower petal it must be blocking the water pot jagan boli bari maharaj bali maharaj at kuch ne He, he put a needle and he opened the hole so the water could come out from the water pot so the blood came out what is the meaning that shukracharya he went away from there he ran away this picture it is said what is it said shukracharya is kana shukra wala kana shukra he does not have one ear In scriptures it is said, "What is the quality of a pure guru?" And what is the quality of a bad guru? What is the quality of a bad guru? Say guru, guru nai. The guru is not a guru. Those who do not give good advice to the disciple. The guru is not inspiring the disciples to do bhagavad pujan. Then he is not a good guru. गुरु बहुत संति सत्य रिक्त पहार का सदगुर दुर्लभो देवी शिष्य संतप साईं महादेव महादेव चल के सत्य देवी पार्वती गुरु बहुत संति ये संसार मध्ये अनेक गुरु देखा जाए सो मेनी गुरु केवल शिष्य द गुड डिसाइपल दे जस्ट वांट मनी फ्रॉम गुरु और अंत संग्रह करे निजे and then they earn money and they spend it on the church and stuff so the madhya bola ji guru bo wa bo santi shishya vitta pahara ka shishya vitta mane dhan ke ki kare the disciples they they steal the money and then they spend it in the church and stuff that type of guru is known as a sadguru guru bo wa bo santi shishya vitta pahara sadguru durlabho devi हे देवी पार्वती सुनो पार्वती जी सुनो सद्गुरु अत्यंत दुर्लभ सद्गुरु की गुरु इज वेरी नाइस वेरी ड्रेयर सॉरी सद्गुरु की तरह की करे व्हाट डस ही डू ही भगवत सेवा करना ही पुट द मनी ऑफ हिज डिसाइपल इनटू इट इज सद्गुरु सो दिस इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ गुरु सॉरी सो प्रीवियस गुरु यूज्ड द मनी ऑफ हिज डिसाइपल टू फॉर हिज ओन सेटिस्फैक्शन बट प्योर गुरु डू इट फॉर भगवत सेवा भगवत सेवा के लिए He invests all the money in Bhagwat Seva. Tirth Maharaj, you can see. Then he acted captain, actor, person, Nijay Jana Tini Rakhen. He did not keep even one penny with him. Our Sri Guru Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Tirth Goswami Maharaj. Guru Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj. He used to glorify Tirth Maharaj for many years. I am sorry, Radha Guruji. I am saying truth. Then he, Kapoor Nijay Pogar Rakhen. He did not keep even one money, only one penny in his pocket. Are you Tini Seva Prati Chile? and he so much he even if someone respect or even if some disrespect he was equal navadip parikrama in navadip parikrama vrindavan parikrama dekhe in vrindavan parikrama i have seen he nijer anna korte that he personally cooked for everyone gamcha pore he put a gamcha and he used to cook for everyone on the day of janmashtami nand utsav In Mathura, there is a like a huge feast. Every day on the so from morning nine to night nine, thousands of people come. And what do we who cooked at that time? My beloved Tirtha Goswami Maharaj. That was name was Subhananda Brahmachari. Gamcha pore. We were a gamcha. And he cooks. Our Gurudev, and the Gurudev, Hari Krishna Jayanti, Subhananda Brahmachari, in Hari Krishna Jayanti, yeah, Subhananda Brahmachari, speak Krishna Tattva. They are wearing his gamcha, and he speak Hari Katha in gamcha. Why gamcha? Kali lega se korar kali. Eh? Or so the gamcha was dirty, and on the top also he was wearing the gamcha. And people give we give him mic, and he speak Hari Katha in that dress only. So it's so much absorption in Hari Katha. Man, who man is the most deep? If someone respect him or disrespect him, he was equal. So this is the quality of Mahabhagwat. Hey, 
When he was talking about Braj Katha, then he was so deep. One day I remember Gurudev, he said, tell about Udav's conversation with Udav. The story of Radharani's separation. Brahmargit, tell the Katha about that. I remember, the Tirth Maharaj fainted. And I saw him with my eyes, he fainted. So these Vaishnav, we cannot understand Vaishnav. We cannot understand the activities of Vaishnav. The activities, external activities of pure Vaishnav, the big scholars cannot understand and comprehend it. Even the demigods cannot understand it. The activities of Vaishnav we cannot understand. Every day, every time he has a smiling face, I never saw him sad even once. There's a photo you can see. He's smiling so beautifully. And he used to give respect to everyone. So there was a scholar in Mathura. He was a scholar in Mathura. He came to a dharma meeting and then Gurudev Narango Swami Maharaj. He used to organize big, big uh, meetings to discuss about uh, dharma, especially on the day of Janamashtami and, and Radha Ashtami. They used to talk about Radha Tattva on that day. And he used to talk about Krishna Tattva also. There was a very big scholar in Mathura, they came. Like the knowledge of all four Vedas. Vasudev Chaturvedi was his name. Title was Big Big Schools used to respect him. He had so many degrees from around the world, from universities, he had so many degrees. So Vasudev Chaturvedi Mohanlal Shastri. He came in that meeting and in the meeting there was Tirtha Maharaj, Subhananda Prabhu. He said, was telling about Krishna Tattva, big big scholars were surprised when he was speaking about Radha Tattva, Krishna Tattva. So scholars, the, school, the remembering power of Tirtha Maharaj was uncomparable and the way of his explanation was so beautiful. He preached around the world also. And he used to respect everyone so much. These are the qualities of Vaishnav. These four qualities are full, full, were full, uh, were, can be seen in full quality in him, can be seen in full amount. Brajmandal Parikrama, Brajmandal Parikrama. He used to serve so much in the Yes, so many, so much beautiful deities here. I feel so joy after seeing the deities here. It's a very beautiful temple. In Navadipa, there's a the Samadhi Mandir. Sanjay Prabhu.
जो शुक्राचार्य है वो इस असद को So, those who direct you towards the prema bhakti of lotus feet of Krishna, that is the pure guru. Bali Maharaj gave up Shukracharya, so, like he is not a guru who is taking you away from Bhagwat Bhajan. He is not a guru. Bali Maharaj, Bali Maharaj. बलि महाराज he took a vow again and he said vyapi bhor bhartan jatai kar tripa bhumi we want three feet of land you can take it that time bhagwan ne bhagwan tar ek charan vistar bhone bhi he expand his feet with huge feet and he covered the whole heaven he covered the whole heaven with his feet bhagwan ne bhagwan ne bhagwan ne bhagwan je sarva de niraj sarva When you get to heaven, when you do Brahma, Brahma Loka, so that time, Brahma, that time, he touched the feet of Brahma, and he washed it, and he put it in his water pot, and he put it in his water pot, and washed the feet, and later, Raja Dynasty, Brahma, King Bhagirat. From Brahma, he took the, from from water pot of Brahma, and one drop of water came that is known as Ganga. The water flows in three places, so one is Swarga, one is Dakini, one is Earth. It is Ganga, or Bhagirati, and in hell it is Bhagwati. Bhagwati. So Ganga, there are three flows of Ganga. One is in heaven. मंदाकिनी और गंगा थर्ड वन इन हेल भगवती गंगा शंकराचार्यिफाइंग गंगा How many legs do you have? How many legs do you have? Two, right? Do you have three legs? No. Bali Maharaj said, "Where is your third leg?" God, Bhagwan Dev. He made his third leg appear. You can see there's a picture, uh, little picture on the. He said, "Where should I keep my third leg?" Bali Maharaj thought that I have given him everything, but I did not give myself. He said, "Prabhu, give me mercy. Put your feet on my head." Then, Bhagwan, Bhagwan, Bali Maharaj. He put his feet on the head of Bali Maharaj, and then he he sent him to Shutal Lok. This is katha, the very beautiful katha. Bali Maharaj's daughter, Bali Maharaj's daughter, what was her name? Ratna Bali. Ratna Bali. 
देखो जखन बामन दे भगवान जखन बोली महाराजे वन बामन दे भगवान शे जब बस तुझे प्रवेश कर चें वन ही एंटर द फर्स्ट एंड वाइस प्लेस द रत्नावली she saw the beauty of Vaman Dev and she thought, wow, very beautiful child. If this child was my son, then I would breastfeed him. He was thinking, Ratnavali. God is like satisfying desires of everyone. So whatever desire you have in front of, whatever you worry about in front of God, God fix your worries. God is known as Vancha Kalpataru. Vancha means desire. Kalpataru like if you sit in the Kalp fridge, whatever you pray, then you get the fruit quickly, spontaneously. Then Vaman Dev will say, Ratnavali, I will definitely breastfeed from you. And he gave him the benediction. So Ratnavali, when she saw that Vaman Dev Bhagwan, he is full of duplicity. He showed small feet. He showed small feet and asked for land equal to his feet, but he expanded it into huge feet and took everything away. He showed three little feet, like I want three feet land. But then what did he do when the time? He made his legs very big. So in the law, big thing is small thing. But in small thing can big thing exist? No. In small thing, there is no big thing that exists. In big thing, small thing can exist. But here, it's a surprising that this is known as the Achinta Shakti, transcendental power. Like surprising, he can make it possible, possible, impossible, impossible. Achinta means Achinta means like you cannot even imagine. You cannot understand my mind. My mind you cannot understand. In Vidam Sutra it is explained. My mind you cannot understand transcendental thing. With this material mind, with this material thoughts we cannot understand. For this regard it is said, how can we understand transcendental things? Only by the mercy of Bhagavad. Mahamande Bhagavan, he saw the, he saw little feet of child. I just want to like very small amount of land. He showed small feet, but and when the time was to time, when it was time of taking, he made his spanked his feet. With his one feet, he covered the whole heaven. And with his second feet, he covered the whole earth. Are the commentators of scriptures, they say, that on big things, small things can exist, but in small things, big things do not exist. It's like natural, but God 
is like possible is impossible and impossible is possible in the situation of God. Ratnavali saw that this child is full of hypocrisy and duplicity. He took all our wealth and money. What to do now? And he sent my father to Sutal Lok. Bali Maharaj, he would put head on her. He put his feet on his head. And where did he send his Sutal Lok? You can see in this picture. Then Ratnavali. So she was thinking, I want to give him poison. She, she was thinking, I will breastfeed him, but I will put the most powerful poison, Kalko poison, on my breast and then I will breastfeed him. She had this desire. Then the God in his heart, he said, Ratnavali, I am God. Definitely, I will breastfeed from you, but if you put poison on your Kalkut, then I am God, I will not die if you put any type of poison. So Ratnavali in Krishna Leela, she became so Devu Swami Pad in the front of Parikshit uh, Maharaj, he explained Putana Mokshan Leela, who was Putana in past life, Ratnavali. There is not yet any bhajan. Like on breast, she put so Bakasur's sister. This Putra. She came to Braj. For why? To kill a six day old child to kill Krishna. With what mood did she come? Putana looked very bad, very hideous. It is explained. She had a very bad form. But she took form of a beautiful mother. And she was full of hypocrisy, duplicity. She put the Kalkut poison, which is the most powerful poison. She used that poison with the desire to kill Krishna. I was six days old. What did Krishna do? He, he touched the Putana with his lips and Putana died. And Putana gave up the body of a demon. God, where did he send Putana? Where did he, she go? Not in Vrindavan. In she go to Kolok Vrindavan. For this reason, it has been said. So she became a maid servant of Mother Yashoda and she is living in Yolok Vrindavan. Putna did not did any bhajan sadhana or any spiritual practice. Did Putna do it? No. And God, she took form of a mother and what did a God do? He sent her to Golok and made her to be the servant of Yashoda, Mother Yashoda. So that's why they said.
So she did not want the shelter of God. But if someone follows Guru Bhakti and we do bhajan, what will God give you? Can you imagine? You should think. God will bless you so much. So this is the Katha of Bali and Vaman Maharaj. So Dev Goswami Pad, he expressed this in front of Parikshit Maharaj that going forward in the ninth canto, so it's a Katha from Amrish Maharaj, Amrish Maharaj. With what mood he was doing bhajan? So Dev Goswami Pad in front of Parikshit Maharaj he expressed the good character of a devotee. So some devotees followed only one one limbs of bhakti, but Amrish Maharaj at one time he followed all limbs of bhakti. Followed all limbs of bhakti. With his eleven senses, he was absorbed in serving God. So in this sloka, this is the character of Amrish Maharaj is very beautiful. If you don't listen to Amrish Maharaj Katha, then you can don't think that you have listened Bhagavatam properly. So Jeeva Goswami Path for this regard, he is saying in Sandharva, he especially emphasized on the Katha of Ambrish Maharaj. So Ambrish Maharaj was the king of the whole earth. Whatever we are seeing here, at Sat Yuga, it was a one world. Like there were, it's the India, right? What name was India? Was Bharat, Bharat Mata. Ajanam Barsha. Ajanam Barsha. It was only Ajanam Barsha. Ajanab Varsha. So at that time, this Bharat Varsha name, Bharat Maharaj name was Bharat Varsha. So if you remember the name of Bharat, then the name Bharat came. So because of the King Bharat, that's why the name Bharat came. But no, history is giving proof. That Rishabdhir son, Bharat Maharaj. So because of the name of King Bharat, that's why the country is named Bharat. He had eight, eight, eighty-one children. They were Karmakandi Brahman, and nine were Navjogendra. And no, nine people were. The king of Navakonda. And Bharat Maharaj. This Bharat Maharaj, with upon his name, we had the name Bharat, Bharat of the India. People say that Chakuntala, son, Bharat, no. Shakuntala son, no, it was not Shakuntala son. The glories of India are very nice. In scriptures, it is also explained. So, if you take birth in India and make your life successful, in Chaitanya Charitramrita, it is explained. 
India is a prosperous land. In Bhakti Vinod Thakur Jaiva Dharma, he is saying, If you have many, many Sukritis of love, many lives, then you take birth in India. And there are so much glories of Navdeep Dham of India. It's very auspicious land. It's known as Arre Bhumi. The country of India's glorification is so much. Demigods, the heaven, they are praying, praying in front of God. That is Bharat, I want to take birth in the India, in the material world. If you have so many securities, only then you take birth in India. Why? Because in India, the environment is spiritually supportive, but in other countries, the environment is not spiritually supportive. You can easily follow bhakti in India, but so India. See, where did Ramchandra appear in India? In Ayodhya. Krishna, where did he appear? Vrindavan. In Gokul. In Mathura. All the incarnations of God, where did they appear? Where did they appear? In this auspicious land, India. We don't understand the glorification of India. For this regard, Amrish Maharaj. He was a very big king of the whole world. He was king, but personally, he used to serve God personally. In Mathura, there is a Amrish Maharaj, big uh, deity. If you go to Mathura, do Mathura Parikrama in Dhruvgat, you can see this. There is Amrish Tila. Where Amrish Maharaj in Mathura, he sat there and he served Radha and Govinda. Ambrish Tila. Ambrish Maharaj. He was king. But despite, we personally used to serve Govinda in scriptures. He gave everything, all the works to his ministers. But to serve God, he did it personally. All other work he gave them to someone else, to his ministers to his workers. With the uh, workers, you cannot serve God. You have to pers personally. You have to do with their with your own hands. This is what Amrish Maharaj is teaching. Because only then Mamta enters your heart, which means pure love. Mamta enters your heart when he serves anything. For this regard, in Bhagavatam it is said, Ramarishamara. <laughs> Padu Hari Chakra Padam Sarapari, Siro Hisikes of Padavi Vandare, Kaman Chadasi Matutamma Kamayan, the Pot Thomas Loko, Janasraya Rati. So they were some parts at A Maharaj Parikshit, Rish Maharaj. Amrish Maharaj. He absorbed his mind and heart into the lotus root of Krishna. With his mind and heart, he was always absorbed in Krishna's 
বাক্যকে কৃষ্ণ গুণানুবরণে নিযুক্ত করলেন ধৈর মন্দির মাঝে মাঝে and he cleaned the temple and he did everything himself in the temple sathe sansare moddhe nich kaj kaaje bolo in this world the worst job what is the worst job to broom to clean the haru like broom sick it is known as a low class job kintu jini joto bada hon tini toto choto kaaj kore but if a rich person does not do this right bada jini hote chao choto ho to If you want to become big you have to be small also This is proverb So if you want to become big person then you have to understand so being a small person also Amrish Manoj is teaching us that if you're king he used to clean the temple with broomstick himself This is known as like a low class work. What do we want to do? We want to do something big. But Amrish Maharaj is teaching that service of Govinda is not easy to get. Clean, even cooking, doing worship, or cleaning the with broomstick is equal. The temple pujari and one. one person is cooking for thakur ji and one person is cleaning the thakur cleaning the temple who is that better amongst them no one is no one is bigger they all are equal our mother ji ko sri pad bolche ji ko swami pad says mandira madaram kunja sevaya bole jini mandir madaram korche those who clean the temple Eh, jhadu dicche. The broom stick and then they mop the floor. Eh, kitabo de. Eh, the cloth they mop the floor. Who is who? Bari kunja sevaya. Do like a save of kunja. It's an example. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Gundicha Mandir margin on that day. What did he do? personally he cleaned with broomstick and then he mopped the floor he is teaching that this is our behave this is the behavior that we should follow prachar apna koi le dharma sikhana nahi jaata achar so if you don't uh, do we follow good behavior then how will you teach someone else good behavior so chatanya mahaprabhu in gundicha mandir margin on the day he Get so many devotees. He went to Gundicha Mandir, but personally he cleaned with broomstick. He is teaching that we should serve personally. Amrish Maharaj is saying he personally cleaned the temple. And Jeev Goswami Pad said. मंदिर माजरम कुंज सेवाया हे जरा उच्च कोटि धाम साधक रहे छे सो द बिग डिवोटीज विद बिग मूड्स व्हाट डू दे डू दे आर एब्सॉर्ब्ड इन द मूड्स ऑफ द सेवा ऑफ कुंज जब जब ती कुछ बोलते बोलो का आप वाणी नित्यम परस पुरुष सिकंद मौने जस्ता सदा अर्चन से विश्वाम जाया सत्कली कुंजे भवनांगन माजनी शाम राधा सुधा निधि इज एक्सप्लेन इन दिस श्लोका राधा इन कृष्ण द ब्यूटीफुल कुंज लीलाज आर है एट दैट सेम प्लेस इन दैट सेम कुंज इफ आई टेक बर्थ एज अ स्टेक ऑफ अ ब्रूम स्टेक इन दैट कुंज देन माई लाइफ इज सक्सेसफुल meaning that putting bro cleaning with broomstick is not a normal thing for this regard it is said ye bachan si koi tum to gunan varnane amrish maharaj amrish maharaj ji ha ke bhagavat kadha ji ne nijukt kare chhe he is teaching us suti chakra achut sat kadho gaye tini karma ke dikhna jugal ke tini भगवान अमृत मई कथा लगे ध्यान स्वरूप 
So, so if you take the smell of the tulsi which has been offered to the feet of God, if you take the smell of it, how should you serve the lotus feet of God? So the place is holy places at the Leela Bhumi. There is the pari, you should do parikrama. You should do parikrama. God has given us two legs for what? To do parikrama. Amrish Maharaj. He also did parikrama. Amrish Maharaj also did parikrama. Shrimad Bhagavatam it is said. If someone does not do Badham Parikram and does not do Bal Tulsi Parikrama, after death, God will not accept you. What did will He give you? He, you will take birth as a tree. I give you, give you legs to do Parikrama, but you did not use your legs properly. Why do we have these legs? Why has God given us these legs? Not to go here and there. He has given us legs to go to Bhagavad Dham, to do Navdiv Dham Parikrama. Not once, do again and again. Vrindavan Dham. The, the holy places of God. We should do Parikrama of those places. So, with his legs and Vishma Maharaj used to do Parikrama also. In his mind, he was always uh, thinking about Krishna. So, God gives blessing when? When you do Pranam. Sadhu Guru, if you see Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, if you don't offer Pranam, then after death, you will have to go to hell. If you see a Vaishnav and you do not pay obeisances, then you will go to hell. If you see a Vaishnav, if you don't do pranam, we don't put your bow down your head, then after death you have to go to hell. But Amrish Maharaj, he did pranams to Guru Vaishnava and go in the temple also. He invested all his desires, everything, senses in the service of God. With his eleven senses, he put them in service of God. Very nice devotee. With his mood, Amrish Maharaj, he is in Mathura. There is a place, Ambrish Maharaj place, in Mathura. So he did the fast of Ekadashi, which was with the Adashi. And the next day, we have to do, we have to break the fast with Paran. Yesterday we did the Ekadashi, right today. It was a very less time to do Paran today. From, so around 12 minutes only was the day today to do Paran. We should do Paran on right time. We, for, we do many fast, but if you don't do Paran right, then the fast is not proper. Don't get the fruits of that fast. If you don't do paran, if you don't break the fast properly as per the rules, then you won't get the fruits. For this regard, it is written in Panjika that Ekadashi fast, and the next day you break the fast. The time is given. Ambirish Maharaj, he saw, what did he see? 
It was very nice. It was like five minutes on that day. At that time, most angry, most Mahabhagwat, most knowledgeable, Durvasarishi came. He said, Ambrish, I will eat food at your place today. So I am not taking bath, so I will go to take bath and come back. So he went to Yamuna to take bath. And after bath, he sat down. And here, Ambrish Maharaj, the pardon time was passing by, so he was worried. He asked big, big scholars, if I don't serve my guests, what should I do? Should I break my fast or should I serve my guests? But the scholars did not answer anything. Then Amrish Maharaj, with personally, he decided that I have done Nirjala fast. If I take Vishnu Charnamrita, then my pardon will happen. So Amrish Maharaj, he washed the feet of Vishnu and he drank that water. So Jal is the food, water is not food. So Durvasarishi, he came. He knew this. Durvasarishi became so angry. And he started abusing Amrish Maharaj. But Amrish Maharaj, he did not say anything. Durvasarishi, with his fire anger, like anger, he, the fire of anger kept on increasing, he kept on using swear words also. So Durvasarishi, he, he made a demon appear, it's known as fire demon. So, on the instruction of Durvasarishi, Amrish Maharaj came to kill Amrish Maharaj. But yet Amrish Maharaj, he was sitting stably and did not move. Because if you are surrendered to God, then God will protect you, don't have to worry. So Vaikuntha Sudarshan Chakra came of Vishnu. So Sudarshan Chakra came and the Sudarshan Chakra, first he, the Sudarshan Chakra, he killed the fire demon. The Sudarshan Chakra started to run behind Trivata Rishi. Su Darshan, it's not Ku Darshan, Su Darshan, like nice. So Sudarshan Rishi got ang, uh, scared and he went to Brahma in Brahma Loka. He said, Oh Father Brahma, please protect me. Brahma ji said, I cannot protect you. You have who, those who commit sins in the Lord, of pure devotee of God in scriptures. Now I cannot protect them. Go to Shiv Loka, ask shelter from Shiv. So there are many stories. He said, go to Shiva. Shivji said, I can't protect you. Those who commit sins on the feet of devotees, lotus feet of pure devotees, then nobody can protect. Shivji said, so this is Sudarshan coming from Vaikuntha, so go to Vaikuntha, go to Vishnu. But Vudravasa Rishi went to Vishnu, in Vishnu Lok. He said, please protect me. <coughs> please call back your Sudarshan Chakra. Then, Bhagavan Vishnu, Lord Vishnu said, Hey Durvasa, I cannot protect you. you. Those who commit sins in the heart and feet of my devotees, then I don't protect them. Sadhu Hidam Matjam Sadhu Nam Hidam Tamam 
मदलते न जानते नाम तेभो मना सके साधु चला मैं किसी जाने ना साधु साधु चला जाए चल अभी साधु नहीं गए uh, Sadhu's heart, so God is saying, I reside in the heart of devotees. And Go- Vaishnavas are beloved of Go- Govinda. I always reside in the heart of Vaishnavas. He said, I cannot protect you. Do one thing. God said, Durvasa. So, so, whoever you have committed sin towards, you have to go to them and you have to go to that devotee and apologize. So, if the thorn is in your feet, then how do you get rid of the thorn? You have to re- remove that specific thorn only, right? So if the throne enters your feet, you, the throne, thorn will not come out from your shoulder. So this is the proverb. So where will it come out from? It will come out from where it has pierced into. So if it is thrown into feet, then it will come out from the feet. So what is the meaning? God Vishnu said, you have committed offense in the Lord, uh, in the feet of Ambarish Maharaj, then you have to go to Ambarish Maharaj and uh, apologize to him. If he forgives you, then my Fudarshan Chakra will come back automatically. Only if he forgives you. So Durvasa Rishi, he went to Ambarish Maharaj. So Ambarish Maharaj, he was waiting for Durvasa Rishi. This is the quality of Sri Vaishnav. They are so humble. So the in Chaitanya Bhagavat it is said so more and more humble and full of humility we are then we get the mercy of God. Ambrish Maharaj in his mind he was thinking oh I am a Grihastha it's my responsibility to serve Sadhu. Durvasari, she came to my house. But what did I do? I could not serve him properly. So he became humble and he was waiting. He was thinking that he was a sinner. He committed offense. He was waiting that maybe Durvasari, she come again and then I will apologize and serve him again. Then Durvasari, she came. Amrish Maharaj saw that he's coming. Durvasa Rishi, he said, Shrimad Bhagavan, Durvasa Rishi, Durvasa Rishi says, who is the servant of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose name is Ananta, like endless. The servant of the uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead, they were so humble. Oh. Today, Today I am taking darshan of the glories of pure devotee of the Lord. We saw that I am the one who has come to offense. But Ambrish Maharaj, he thinks that being humble and full of humility, he is saying that he has committed this uh, offense. For this regard, it is said in scriptures. Who is a Vaishnav? Our Guru Maharaj said, you don't, have, don't have to worry that Vaishnav don't think that I am Vaishnav. But when Mahaprabhu 
In Shikta, Shiksa Ashtak, in third shloka, he said, then we thought that we were never possible to become Vaishnav. For this regard, our Gurudev, he said, it's not easy to be a Vaishnav. You need to be so much humble and humility. It's not easy to get these qualities. If they put the, if you beat the foot on the grass, then the grass goes down and it comes back up again. If you put the feet on grass, then the grass, it uh, accepts the feet and it does not hurt the feet. But what is a Vaishnava? Is even more humble than the blade of grass. So there are fruits on the tree. When the fruit ripes, it becomes heavy and it, the branch of the tree goes down towards the earth. Exactly like this. When a devotee, the, the more and more great he is, the more and more humble and humility he has. Gurudev used to say that the character of Ambarish Maharaj and Durvasa Rishi, he preached about this. He came to Ambarish Maharaj. Why? To, to tell the glories of Ambarish Maharaj in the world. There is no other reason. Durvasa Rishi is not a normal devotee. He is not a normal person. He is Mahabhagwat. He went to Ambrish Maharaj and he, and he used swear words and he used so many things of, that we heard. This is just to teach us. In reality, Ambrish Maharaj, glories of Vaishnava, he wanted to establish the glories of Vaishnava in the world. And second reason was that he's showing that, that we should do Paran at the right time. If you don't do Paran at the right time, then the, you won't get the fruits of the past. Krishna Janmashtami in a less time. We will do one Kirtan. I will start the live stream again after the Kirtan ends. If you want to watch the Kirtan, you can watch it on the other live stream. <laughs>